you can't run offense in the neighborhood of Gilliard. Now that we are two steals away from it, what's, uh, what's running through your mind? Don't be ambitious. Uh, I feel like um, come Wednesday, I'm probably going to try and take, take a couple more chances than I usually do. Um, but, you know, I just got to gotta stay the course. Let the, let the steals I usually get come to me and, and just go from there. Outlet pass, driving down the lane. Gilliard steals the ball. A great steal by Jacob Gilliard. You've had 384 steals to think about it. What's it going to mean to you to have the record? Um, it's crazy. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I haven't really thought about it too much. I, I try not to, not to think about it as much as I probably should. Um, but to be, you know, top 50, top 25, top 10, you know, to a leader in any, any statistical category is, is pretty crazy. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's, it's going to be a, a lot of emotions, but it'll, it'll be cool just to get a win. You know, I think that that's the goal for me always. And as long as, as my steals help, that's, that's all that really matters. Love a lot of three pointers the other night. In Annapolis, Gilliard with a steal. I think in high school, I always thought I was pretty good at, at defense and, and stealing the ball. Um, and I think my, my freshman summer here, um, our first like live period or when we or live segment or when we got to play pickup, whatever it may have been, uh, I did pretty well in defense and, and ended up with a couple of steals that you know I think most guys weren't used to me or used to seeing. Um, so from there, I just felt like I, I had a nag for it. I think the surprise has a lot to do with it. Um, just guys not really knowing where you're at. Um, you know, trying to trying to play mind games with the with the guy who has the ball or whoever has the ball. You know, I think that that's the best part about it. Um, you know, to to get the reaction that you, you see sometimes is always is always fun. But you know, I think the, the element of surprises is, is what makes it the most fun. My favorite is probably the JMU one. Um, it's like a lane line out of bounds and it leads to a layup, and I think it may have put us up one or, or cut the lead to like a tie game. Um, I just remember thinking it was, it was a tough steal. I remember trying to set it up to where I was, I was going to be able to get it the whole time they were taking the ball out of bounds. And luckily, the guy threw a lazy pass, and, and I ended up with it. Um, but that was probably my favorite one, just because of, you know, I think it was a, it was a really difficult steal for me, um, trying to set it up. And it was a, it was a big time steal for sure. Jacob Gillier will try and win it. And down! A lot of people just say I, I steal the ball, but I think if if I solely had to, to focus on stealing the ball, I'd probably have more than 384. Um, you know, I, I play a lot of minutes. Uh, I try and do a lot of things for the team to help us win uh, on the offensive and defensive side. Um, but you know, I think if I just had to focus on on just defense or, or just stealing the ball, I'd have a lot more. With COVID, I, I lost probably 10 games uh, my junior and senior year. So I, I think it was a record that, that I would have had no matter what, um, you know, except for, you know, the, the pandemic. You know, I think if the pandemic doesn't happen, you know, obviously I think the record's mine anyways. Um, but, you know, to come back for the fifth year, I think was, was about playing with the guys. And, you know, um, you know, I feel like we had some unfinished business and, and we're looking forward to taking care of it.